How to grow green beans. Green beans are a moderately simple crop to grow in the summer and fall, and will provide healthy, tasty food for you and your family. They're best grown in USDA hardiness zones 3 to 10. The beans are sensitive to cold or other unsuitable conditions, and should be watered daily. You can grow both bush and pole varieties under the same basic conditions. Bush beans take less time to mature than pole beans do, but pole beans are often more visually impressive. Selecting beans and readying the soil. Plant bush beans for a reliable, easy harvest. The two basic green bean varieties are bush beans and pole beans. The bushes of bush beans spread out along the ground, and only grow to about 1 to 2 feet 0.30 to 0.61 meters high. While bush beans only tend to produce a single harvest during a growing season, they are relatively easy to grow and don't require much tending. Bush beans spread out horizontally while pole beans need to climb vertically. Bush beans do not need any sort of support in the garden, while pole beans require a trellis to climb. Recommended bush varieties for most regions include bush blue lake and bountiful. Bush beans spread out horizontally while pole beans need to climb vertically. Bush beans do not need any sort of support in the garden, while pole beans require a trellis to climb. Recommended bush varieties for most regions include bush blue lake and bountiful. Plant pole beans for a quicker, larger harvest. Pole beans mature more quickly than bush beans do, which means that you'll be able to harvest pole beans sooner. They also grow beans continually during the growing season, so you'll get a larger number of beans from each individual plant than you would with bush beans. Recommended pole varieties for most regions include Fortex and Kentucky Wonder. Install a trellis for your pole beans to climb, such as a cattle panel, wooden lattice, or similar garden trellis. Recommended pole varieties for most regions include Fortex and Kentucky Wonder. Install a trellis for your pole beans to climb, such as a cattle panel, wooden lattice, or similar garden trellis. Pick a sunny spot to plant your crop. Green beans need plenty of sunlight to grow properly, so try to choose an area of your garden that receives full sun for your planting site. Since green beans do not do well in heavily moist soil, you should avoid shaded locations, since shade tends to help soil retain moisture for prolonged periods. Since green beans do not do well in heavily moist soil, you should avoid shaded locations, since shade tends to help soil retain moisture for prolonged periods. Amend the soil with compost until it has a loamy texture. Green beans thrive in loamy soil, so if your garden has heavy clay soil or sandy soil, you should amend it with organic material before planting your green beans. Loamy soil is dark and crumbly. Test the soil by squeezing it in your hands. Clay soil stays in a ball and sandy soil falls apart completely. Loamy soil will hold its shape initially yet break apart when touched. If working with clay heavy soil, spread 2 inches 5.1 cm of manure or compost over the soil and work it into the top 1 foot 30 cm of soil using a shovel, garden fork, or rototiller. You could also mix sawdust or sand into the soil if it is especially heavy. If working with sandy soil, spread the same amount of heavy manure or compost into the soil in the same manner, but skip the sawdust. No matter what type of soil you have, you should also make sure that the area is free of weeds, trash, stones, and other debris. If working with clay heavy soil, spread 2 inches 5.1 cm of manure or compost over the soil and work it into the top 1 foot 30 cm of soil using a shovel, garden fork, or rototiller. You could also mix sawdust or sand into the soil if it is especially heavy. If working with sandy soil, spread the same amount of heavy manure or compost into the soil in the same manner, but skip the sawdust. No matter what type of soil you have, you should also make sure that the area is free of weeds, trash, stones, and other debris. Apply a October 2010 fertilizer to the soil before planting the seeds. Green beans do not require a vast amount of nutrients, but a light application of fertilizer can help your plants produce a better crop. Use a shovel or trowel to mix the fertilizer into the top 3 to 4 inches 7.6 to 10.2 centimeters of soil. October 2010 fertilizer is slightly richer in phosphorus than in nitrogen or potassium, so it is good for producing a strong crop yield. If you use a fertilizer high in nitrogen, then your plant will grow a lot of leaves but few beans. 
October 2010 fertilizer is slightly richer in phosphorus than in nitrogen or potassium, so it is good for producing a strong crop yield. If you use a fertilizer high in nitrogen, then your plant will grow a lot of leaves but few beans. Grow them in a container if you'd rather not sow them in the ground. If you'd rather plant beans in a container or if you want to try growing beans indoors, you'll need to plant them in a reasonably large pot. Ideally, the container should be about 8 inches 20 centimeters in diameter. Fill the pot with loose, nutrient-rich soil. If you're planting pole beans in a container, stick a trellis or lattice in the container as well, to allow the bean plants to grow. Since potted plants often dry out faster, you should check your soil moisture more often. You may need to water your green beans more if they're potted. If you're planting pole beans in a container, stick a trellis or lattice in the container as well, to allow the bean plants to grow. Since potted plants often dry out faster, you should check your soil moisture more often. You may need to water your green beans more if they're potted. 